Well, it looks as though we are back again with another training video. And um, I'm gonna start this one off with a posing update and I'm um, just gonna kinda talk through it and just explain what I feel my weak points are and um, I would feel love for you guys to comment on what you guys think I should work on and other things like that. Just please keep them positive comments, positive criticism. And yeah, so starting off, I just did a lat spread, front lat spread. I'm gonna be doing mostly bodybuilding mandatory poses and my front lat spread has definitely gotten a lot better if you've seen previous posing videos um, I've worked on it a lot but it can still improve especially from the front as you just saw there my double bicep is one of my strong points and my arms have really come up in this last bulk that I've been doing over this past winter as you did know if you guys have followed my Instagram followed my channel for a while I've done a lot of upper body work this off season and really focus on bringing up my upper body in tune with my legs. Seeing this video it would be kind of hard to imagine that, but that just kind of shows you that the success I have been able to have over the course of this winter and this current bulk I'm on. Basically moving to the next part of the video, I'm going to be talking about the current split I'm going to be starting this week, so this um, Monday which is going to be tomorrow. I'm going to be starting a four day on, one day off split. And I'm going to be starting out with legs, as I just mentioned. Actually, I didn't mention that. I'm going to be starting out with legs, and then I'm going to be going to chest and tries. Then I'm going to do a back and buys, and then finish with shoulders and arms. And I'm, then I'm going to take a rest day. Then I'm going to kind of have um, two different parts to this program. So it's going to be four days on, one day off. And the first four days of the rotation are going to be more max effort oriented. So for my bench press and for my squat, I'm going to be doing more strength oriented rep ranges, which I've also spoken on before. I like to train in both hypertrophy rep ranges being like 8 reps to about 15 reps, as well as the strength rep ranges, which are about 1 rep to about 8 reps. And um, so that's going to kind of kind of make sense in a little bit once you guys see more videos. But I'm going to be doing a strength oriented style workout for, like I said, the bench. <clears throat> and the squat, excuse me, as well as the deadlift, which I will probably be throwing on my leg day as well. And if I did throw it on a different day, it would be my back day, but I usually like to stick to the pull-up being my compound movement for my back day. So as you guys um, are gonna see, I'm gonna be doing that type of rotation. So after my first four days, which are gonna be the more strength-oriented days, I'm gonna be taking the rest day, then doing the same four-day split, but it's going to be more hypertrophy oriented rep ranges so 8 to 12 8 to 15 and it's going to be more my isolation type of exercise days or more my bodybuilding high volume days so it's going to be kind of like i'm doing a continuous um i guess that would be a 10 day split but um it's going to be kind of rotating so the reason i like doing that is just so you're not getting the same chest day on a Monday you're not getting your you're always doing legs on a Tuesday with this it'll kind of rotate and I'm still able to get that hypertrophy work in as well as the strength work in both um, in all of the exercises so if you saw my previous videos too I talk about how I like doing that both for one getting better at the movements themselves being that I'm doing them in both a strength rep range and a hypertrophy rep range those hypertrophy days I'm getting tons and tons of reps in especially in movements like bench press and squat and even deadlifts that are very difficult to learn the technique. Um, being able to do multiple, um, multiple, being able to do the movement multiple times per week is really going to get you um, in tune with that and get your muscles um, to be consistent with that movement pattern. I always like to say um, like Kobe, LeBron, Michael Jordan, any of those good basketball players they didn't just sit at home and watch TV and improve their shot. They went to the gym and they take repeated um, constant, constant shots. They're taking thousands of shots a day to work on their craft. So I like to say the same way um, they're doing that, you can kind of think about it that way with your bench press, with your squat, and those major compound movements especially that are more difficult to learn and um, not as easy to pick up on the forum right away. So. Just do the movement more. A lot of times people ask me what tips I would recommend to improve their deadlift, improve their bench, improve their squat. And one of the main tips I have that you can pretty much tell anyone is just do the movement more. If you're only doing it once per week, try to throw it in another time per week. 
and if you are scared that you're not going to be able to recover properly throw in more of a rep range that's higher if you're doing always doing strength work um, working with heavy weights and lower reps throw that second day in and make it more of a high volume day that'll allow you to recover more um, getting that blood flow there from the higher volume work is going to help you recover and um, it's also just going to help you get better at the movement like i was saying so um, I hope that kind of makes sense guys and um, hope you guys can kind of follow along. If you do want to hop on the same split as me, that's completely fine. I will be posting quite a bit of the workouts that I'm doing. Um, this workout you're seeing now is actually a push day, but it would be considered more of a high volume push day. If you guys want, um, somebody can leave a comment below if you guys would like me to throw the workout in the description, but sometimes I hesitate to do that because my workouts are very different from what I would recommend someone to be doing, especially being that a lot of my viewers are more beginners and um, I do not want you guys to be doing the exact same thing as I am doing um, because it is tailored to me and um, my body. So I um, hope that makes sense as well. So. If you do want that, I can't throw it down there, but like I said, I kind of hesitate to do that, so you guys are doing the exact same thing I'm doing. So, um, I'm going to kind of conclude the commentary now, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing these more frequent uploads, so hopefully you guys do enjoy that, and if you guys want to leave me some feedback, please do. I really appreciate that, and kind of let me know what you guys are liking, what you're not liking, and what you guys would like to see. So, thank you guys as always for watching. I will um, talk to you guys very soon. Tomorrow will be another upload for you. So hopefully you guys are enjoying that. So thank you again. Subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. And like the video if you guys did enjoy it. And if you want to share it, think someone can get something out of it, that is always awesome too. So thank you guys again. Have a great night and I will see you guys very soon.